Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for May 2021. In this video, I go over everything that I tried in the past month, take a sneak peek into some of the videos that I did, and let you know what was good and what was not so good. So let's start today in makeup. I feel like I had some good discoveries over the month of May in makeup. I did a Foundation Friday on a viral makeup that you guys were dying to see. It was the KVD Good Apple Foundation. It's like a balm foundation that comes in a little compact. And I hadn't really tried many balm foundations, but this one really surprised me because this was like a viral TikTok sensation for its full coverage ness. And I'm not really a big full coverage makeup person, and so I wasn't expecting to like this, but well, I like this one a whole heck of a lot. I was really surprised by it. I was surprised at how really like lightweight it feels. It feels powdery yet hydrating at the same time. It is the weirdest stuff. Since it is full coverage, it does look like makeup sitting on the surface of the skin, but oh my gosh, you guys, this was so long wearing. I wore it for a couple of days. One day I had a mask on for like two and a half hours. And when I got home for like the 10 o'clock check-in or eight o'clock check-in, it was barely worn off. Like this is the only foundation I've tried in a long time that looked just applied at the 10 hour check-in. So I was really happy with it from that standpoint. You know, I didn't love how it looked close up, but if you like full coverage and you're looking for something that will stay in place, it could work out for you. Anyway, if you want to see the whole video, I can link it for you right up here. Um, it was a fun foundation Friday to make, and I'm really glad that I tried this foundation. So got to do a couple more foundation Fridays in June. I have some things lined up. So one is the LYS foundation. Another one is this Merit Stick foundation. And the other one is Revlon Color Stay Light Cover foundation. Foundation. So I have all of these three ready to start testing. Let me know in the comments which one you want to see first. Another product that I ooh, went crazy for last month was the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox Palette. I grabbed this as an impulse purchase when I was shopping at Ulta and oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. This palette is just me, 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 all over the place. It's got all those lovely, cool grays and taupes that I love. And it has all these really lovely pale matte colors that are perfect for blending out your crease. So if you had your eye on this, if you were even contemplating it, I think that this is a great palette and you would really love it. It blends so easily. Um, I do get a bit of fallout with it. So just make sure that you bang off your brush a little bit to get the excess off when you're using it. But I will have a, a tutorial coming up with that this month. Then another favorite, I mention these all the time, but I think this is being discontinued. I am so sad, but here's your chance to snap them up while they're on sale. The Marc Jacobs highliners are 50% off on the Marc Jacobs site, on Sephora. They're only $13, normally $26. So definitely start Start buying these up because I think they're going away so I'm definitely gonna like hoard up five of these this is my favorite color this one's called irony this is like a dark kind of a brownish gray then I love this pale um, shimmery lavender color this one's called lunatic then this blue one I love it's called overnight then this pale like sparkly flesh tone is called in the buff so those are my favorite four Marc Jacobs liners and I'll link them below so that you can grab them. They last forever. They are truly waterproof. I wear contacts. They don't bother my contacts. They don't smudge. They don't transfer to my lower waterline. They are perfection. When things like this get discontinued, it's just such a tragedy. And, you know, speaking of discontinued, you guys know that the Lancome Mackie Complete Concealer was discontinued. I haven't found a 100% perfect replacement for it, but I gotta say I have been really enjoying this guy, the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I have it in the shade 25N. I think I want to get it a shade lighter because I feel like this shade oxidizes a little bit. When I first get it out of the tube, it looks really nice and light. I put it on, it looks really pale, but within you know, a couple of minutes, it kind of darkens up. And so I think I need a lighter shade in this, but otherwise 
I like it. The wear is pretty good. The coverage is pretty good. It doesn't settle in my lines and crack and make my wrinkles look bigger. So that's good. It doesn't feel drying. But on the topic of makeup, I'm actually not wearing any today. I'm not wearing any foundation. I'm just wearing my sunscreen. So let's segue into skincare slash makeup slash sunscreen. I put up my sunscreen testing video in May and the MyShell Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50 was the winner this year. I've been wearing this so much and I just love it. And it works great under makeup and it also works great as just a skin tint because it's just so beautiful. It's so lightweight and so sheer and it just dries and sets so you don't feel greasy and you're not super shiny and it just wears like crazy and it is just the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen in a sunscreen. Now I have heard from a few of you guys that this sunscreen can be a little bit drying so if you have drier skin I'm not sure this would be great for you but for me on my mainly normal skin with partly dry areas and also partly oily areas Areas. This is perfection. It comes in three shades, but if you have drier skin, then the sunscreen that I always recommend is the Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44. It's also a tinted sunscreen and it's hydrating and it's got antioxidants. It's just great on dry skin. It also works really well under makeup. So that's a good one to use too, but I have just been so high on this this month. So I love it. We'll link that below the video for you and we'll also link the sunscreen testing video right up here because that one's always a lot of fun. I tested 21 sunscreens this year. You know, a lot of um, fails in that, but some good ones. All right, and since we're on the topic of sunscreen, a little bit of a sunscreen fail. You guys know how much I love the Make Prem UV Defense Me Fluid SPF 50. Unfortunately, this has just been reformulated and it's no longer an all mineral sunscreen. It's a combination mineral and chemical now. I don't have the new one. I'm probably going to try it, but I have a brand new bottle of this. I must have just gotten the last one before they switched it over. If you are looking at any of my older reviews and you see me raving about this, it's not the same anymore. So I haven't tried the new one, so I can't swear by that one. I like the old one. I'm so bummed about it. Um, but usually when I do that video, everybody asks me what I use for my body sunscreen. I tested a bunch of mineral sunscreens for body a couple years ago. None of them were any good. They all left such a white cast, or if they didn't, when you went in the water or got it wet, then it got really chalky and white looking. Um, they just, you know, mm, so hard to do a mineral sunscreen for body. So I just use chemical sunscreen on my body. My favorite is the Banana Boat Light as Air. This is an SPF 50 plus. I've been using this for years. I love it. The thing I love about this is that it's very similar to the My Shell in that it goes on and it feels dry and set. It doesn't make you feel sticky and greasy and hot. And it is just like the most beautiful sunscreen. Very, very lightweight. So anyway, I'm almost out. I <laughs> <laughs> need to stock up. I just ordered, I think, three more tubes of this to kind of get me through the first few weeks of summer, but you know, you have to use a lot. So you should be going through a tube, at least a tube a month, depending on how much time you spend outside. I wouldn't get one tube and expect it to last you the entire summer unless you are pretty much living in a cave and not wearing short sleeves. So there's that. Um, I did have a sunscreen fail that was behind the scenes when I put up my sunscreen video testing you guys all jump in the comments and say well what about this one what about this one what about that one so I buy them and I start testing them and so I have tested one of the ones that you mentioned it is the pipette mineral sunscreen broad broad spectrum SPF 50 um, I huh, did not like this at all it left not a huge white cast it did leave me a little bit pale and a little bit on the pink side but this was really shiny really greasy feeling just Ooh, and was not good in the hair, got all tangled up in my eyebrows and around my hairline and everything. And you guys know you have to sunscreen those areas because that's where a lot of skin cancers are starting to pop up in people is in the eyebrows and along their hairline where they're missing with their sunscreen. The sun's rays, they're tricky little devils. They can even get in the part you know, of your hair if you're out in the sun for a long time. So definitely wear a hat or put on a powder sunscreen, you know, like the Derma E powder sunscreen is one of my faves. You can just sprinkle it in your part and protect your scalp. Uh, another one of my faves for summertime skin is the self tanner. You know, I don't really lay in the sun anymore. So I like to put on a a sunless tan. My favorite sunless tanner is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse. Discovered this last summer 
or two summers ago, have been using it ever since. Absolutely love this stuff. It's so good. The nice part about it is that it has a color to it, like a brownie color, so you can see where you're putting it, which is awesome, so you never end up streaky. And then, so it instantly tans you, and it gradually tans you, which is what I like, because, you know, generally, I'm not... <laughs> thinking ahead far enough to be like, oh, I'm going to need to be tan in a week. Let me start self tanning. No, I think of it the minute I need it. And I'm like, dang, I didn't put it on. And this one gives me a tan instantly. So I love this one. And it also gradually tans me. And this is the mitt that I use with it. I get the San Tropez mitt. It's like $7. It cleans up so easily. And I just apply this with this. And then I get my nice self tan going. I don't use this on my face. Um, I use the Kula self tanner on my face. I know people are going to ask that. So um, I'll definitely link the Kula self tanner that I use on my face in the info box below the video as well. I tried the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I'm always looking for a less expensive cleansing balm that works just as well as my favorite Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This was good. I really like this. This is the first cleansing balm that I've been like, yes, you are just as good as my Clinique. And I've been using this ever since. So I have used up quite a lot of this in the, I don't know, two weeks maybe that I've been using it. I haven't used the Clinique since I started with this one. I feel like this one leaves my skin more hydrated than the Clinique one, and I feel like it removes makeup just as well. And it does come with a little spoon, so I like that. This guy is $15 for 2.5 ounces, so it's a little bit smaller than the Clinique. In the Clinique, you get 3.8 ounces for $31, so this is definitely a bit cheaper. It's not quite half the price, but anyway, it is less, and I really like it a lot. So if you're looking for a new cleansing balm, definitely give the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm a try. That was a good one. And then here's something that I tried half of it. I wasn't able to try the whole thing. These are those silicone um, like sleeping masks that you get. They're just like surgical grade silicone and they are supposed to pretty much hydrate your skin by being occlusive, like locking moisture onto your skin overnight while you sleep. And then when you wake up in the morning, your skin is supposed to be all puffed up and beautiful and your wrinkles are supposed to be gone. And I had tried the uh, SIA mask, SIA mask before, the neck mask and the adhesive on it. Oh my gosh, it gave me such a reaction. My neck was red and cracked and burning and itching for like a week after that thing. So I was kind of afraid to use the neck mask. <laughs> And also, I've been testing the Omnilux neck and chest mask for three months, and I didn't want to mess that up because it was time for me to take the after pictures right when I got this. So I was like, nope, not going to try this until after I take the after pictures for that video. But in the meantime, there were also two eye patches in there, and this was $15. And you know, those Sia and Oya masks, they're hugely expensive. They're like $60, $70 for the same thing, and it's basically just a silicone pad. And so I did wear these one night, you know, you just peel them off. They had, they do have adhesive on this side. You stick them on your face and then you go to sleep. So I guess while I was asleep, one of them either fell off or I ripped it off and threw it on the bed. Anyway, it was good that that happened because in the morning I could actually compare like how my eyes looked and oh my gosh, if I could not see an instant difference with this thing, I couldn't believe it. So here, let me insert a little bathroom footage that I took with it because I was like, oh, hey, wow, this really makes a difference. I wasn't sure if it was light in my bathroom or if it was really doing something, but I felt like it was pretty amazing. So I am definitely going to continue to wear those and I will try the neck mask, but it was good. I like it. So, and speaking of the Omnilux masks, I did my before and after video with these guys. I had been using these for three months, but it was really the neck portion of this that I was really most interested in because as you guys know, I haven't been able to use Retin-A on my neck. And so I feel like my neck is just aging so much faster than the rest of my face. Um, so I wanted to see if I could slow it down a little bit, you know, pump those brakes. And so I gave this a try. And so after three months of using it for 10 minutes, three or four times a week, I am definitely seeing a difference in my neck. And I showed the before and after pictures in that video. And I was just like, whoa, I just think it's doing so much. You know, I'm 
58 and so it's not like it's gonna erase these big wrinkles but I feel like it has made this skin look so much better it's so much less crepey you know I can look like halfway down and not have it be like um, like it was before I started using this so I really am very happy with this also very happy with the face mask like, I feel like my face is just so much clearer um, I feel like some of my age spots are diminished and everything so anyway really loving this I always have an ongoing 10% off discount code with Omnilux if you wanted to try one of these masks um, it's Angie 10 you put that in at checkout you get 10% off your order I'll link the Omnilux results video right up here for you. So that's it for skincare clothes and accessories are coming up in a sec but I have as always one little weird rando to show you. So this is Wyman stainless steel wipes. I had never used like a specific stainless steel cleaner before but I wanted my fridge to get clean and I noticed that my dishwasher was like getting really filthy around the edges and no matter what I did I couldn't get that off and oh my god do I love these besides being able to clean stainless steel really well these things took grease off of everything else in my kitchen like crazy on the uh, exhaust hood it took off the grease I was using it on glass I was using it on like my faucet you know how in your your kitchen like you cook and the grease just flies like four or five feet around your kitchen so everything's covered with grease so the cabinets that are there the handles on the cabinets like this took the grease off of everything I couldn't believe it so this stuff is amazing all right now on to clothing so I did a clothing video just a few videos ago and I can link that for you right up here it was a summer clothing haul one of my absolute favorites was this blouse this blouse is so pretty it, it is a little low cut I usually wear like a little white tank with it but it's so hot here today 90 degrees I decided not to put the tank on um, but isn't it beautiful it has this really pretty lace inset it's got these nice little bell sleeves and it's just a really flowy drapey blouse you can wear it over like some skinny white jeans I think I showed it in that video with these white flared jeans it looked really great and but check out the back on it this just has the prettiest back because it's the lace all the way down and I just love it so it's really pretty it's really flirty I love this color it comes in lots and lots of different colors as well it feels like the best quality like cotton or linen but it's super soft and super floaty I just love it another thing that I love that I showed you in that video was this skirt this skirt oh my gosh talk about my mothership I haven't worn a little like flouncy ruffly skirt like this in years but I love them it gives that like flirty mini skirt look but without being too short so anyway I love the print on this it's actually the same leopard print as that dress that I showed you a couple of months ago and I think they still have that dress let me bring in footage of both in case you're not into the little flippy skirt you might be interested in the dress if you like this print the t-shirt that I have it on with in that outfit is this little guy I love this shirt again 90s are coming back so this just has a white wider shoulder with two little pleats here and it kind of mimics the look of a shoulder pad but without actually putting in a shoulder pad and it just makes your shoulder a little bit wider and just gives you a little bit more shape a little bit more taper down to the waist but for a plain white tee this is just the best shaped t-shirt the shoes I have on I'll link below the video as well those are my favorites I love those shoes but I also showed that same t-shirt with um, just a little pair of distressed denim cutoff shorts these are so cute I love these shorts and I love it that they have a little bit of ripping and a little bit of distressing because you know I always like that but um, instead of having my thighs hang out it has a little patches in there and I love the color contrast I just thought these were so cute they fit so great they're like a boyfriend styling so I am ready for summer with those things and then I just wanted to show you one of the last things that I show you every year because this is still my favorite beach cover-up I just love this dress it just gives such a cute 70s boho vibe it has the bell sleeves with a little bit of lace it has these little crochet insets and it's just like a button down the front 
really lightweight floaty dress. It makes a perfect beach cover-up. So if you're spending any time by the beach or by the pool, that's a really cute item to get to put over your bathing suits. So I think that that was everything that I had to share with you in today's faves and fails. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.